When I first heard about this next story, I thought it must be a joke. I mean, here it is Thanksgiving weekend. Nobody in their right mind would protest killing turkeys too humanely. The operative phrase is, in their right mind. Allow me to introduce you to conservative columnist Pamela Geller. She's a darling of the right wing, she's a notorious hater of Muslims, and she just wrote a column complaining about Butterball. Here's the background. Butterball, as you may know, is one of the most popular producers of Thanksgiving turkeys in the United States. The company believes in making their product palatable to a variety of religious Americans. And to that end, Butterball recently confirmed its whole turkeys are certified halal. Halal is an Islamic term that refers to how animals are butchered, much like kosher butchering for Jewish people. Halal requires that an animal be killed in the most humane fashion possible by swiftly cutting the turkey's throat. According to Geller, this is a problem. Why should we be forced to conform to Islamic norms? It's Islamic supremacism on the march yet again. Yes, according to Pam Geller, it's Islamic supremacism. She went on to write, quote, non-Muslims in America and Europe don't deserve to have halal turkey forced upon them in this way, with, without their knowledge or consent. So this Thanksgiving, fight for your freedom. Find a non-halal, non-butterball turkey to celebrate Thanksgiving this Thursday, and write to Butterball and request politely but firmly that they stop selling only halal turkeys and make a non-halal turkey available to Americans who still value our freedoms. Pam, we're talking about turkeys. And allow me to enlighten you and your readers. It's not just how a turkey is killed that is important for halal or kosher certification. The animal must not be diseased. If the turkey has tumors or cysts, it's not certified. The meat must not come in contact with contaminants, you know, like worms, bugs, dirt, feces, bacteria, things that are also not allowed by federal meat inspectors. All the blood must be allowed to drain out before packaging. Pam, you wrote, I wouldn't knowingly buy a halal turkey, would you? Actually, I would. In fact, most Americans who eat turkey would probably be more likely to buy a halal or kosher one if they knew what it stood for. But I want to help you protect your Thanksgiving from the threat of clean, healthy, humanely butchered meat. So I encourage you to go to a turkey farm tomorrow, ask for the most diseased animal around, clobber it over the head with a dull hammer, but not too hard because you want the bird to suffer for a while. Drag the animal on the ground, smear it in feces, Take the bird home, expose it to as much bacteria as possible, then serve it as your Thanksgiving meal. After all, as you wrote, who wants halal turkeys, especially on a day in which we are giving thanks to God for our freedom? Exercise your freedom, Pam. Go with diseased, dirty, infected turkey meat and let us know how your family and guests enjoy the holiday at your house or whatever insane asylum these days you are calling home.